Hi, this is Al Edlin. This is the first of a two-part discussion on data record sets in Visio. What we're going to look at in this session is uh, taking a Visio drawing, in this case a seating chart, exporting the Visio data to an access database uh, where we will link it with an employee's table or, or personnel data. We will then take the personnel data from the access database back into Visio and associate those employee records with the seating chart. To get started, uh, the first thing we want to do is, is understand, and I'm into the uh, document stencil. I want to edit the master, the master shape, and show the shape sheet. And what I'm interested in here is understanding that when we get down into the shape data section of the shape sheet, that we don't have conflicting names between the two tables we're going to play with. In this case, what I've done is I've renamed some of the shape data uh, specifically. Uh, I've renamed the department field, I've renamed the name field, and the ID field so that we don't end up with the same thing in two places. Uh, that's going to end up uh, with wrong pointers and we won't get the, what we expect to see out of it. The second thing I've done is I've gone into the ODBC data source administrator and created a data source target. In this case, it's the name of the database, renamed as uh, Record Sets Org Data Target. Uh, we will have to use this to uh, create our attachment. Uh, and it's, it's pointed at the database we're going to use in this exercise. Close that. All set here. Uh, to get the data from Visio to the Access database, I'm using Visio 2010. The same functionality is in Visio 2007. I'm coming over to an add-on. I'm going to run an add-on. The add-on I'm going to use is Database Export Wizard. Uh, you can pretty much step through this. It, it's it's self-explanatory. Uh, the name of the drawing, uh, all the shapes on the pages. Uh, we want all the fields. Uh, this is the ODBC target we aimed at. The, what we're going to use is our key. And then it went over to the database, examined it, and says, hey, you've already got one there. So we're going to leave that alone. Cancel out of it. When we come over to Access, this is our Access uh, employee table. Uh, what I've done here is I renamed ID to employee ID. And I've added a field to the record that says shape ID. Shape ID is defined as a uh, integer. Table seating chart is the table we have just exported from uh, Visio. And shape key is the shape ID field from the object on the page. And if we come over way over to the right we discover that Subshape types, we have chairs and tables as we would expect. That's how our database got set up. We've read the uh, seating chart in. We had an employees table. I've added in a couple of uh, queries over here to do sanity checks against my data. Once we have the data in the database, and, and I've created a relationship over there between the shape ID field and the shape key field, we come back to the Visio drawing. Select Link Data to Shapes, go after the Access Database, browse for it, and there's our database. The table we want to bring over is Employees. We're going to bring it all over, and it shows up in our external data window. So we want to automatically link that table. We want the shape ID uh, field. 
and the code uh, I, I mentioned before put uh, the shape ID into the shape text of the Visio objects and it's linked to the record. Now what happened here is I've already got a data graphic defined for that table. Open it, edit it, and you can see that we're doing a color by value on the department and we're putting the name and title with each of the seats. The data, the code that we've got in this drawing is, let's come up to objects, two simple modules, and we're not in the right place. We have a clear employees property that takes the uh, table associated information out of the shapes and I created a, a little macro to take the shape ID and put it into the text field and that's how we were able to link as easily as we did. The reason we have clear employees in here is for sake of discussion let's go back to our employee table and our president has decided that rather than being in the middle of the studio he wants to be on the left side We'll change the seat he's assigned to from here to here and refresh the data. Refresh it all. Close. If we look at our data record set, ah, I'm going to go do that again. Refresh. If we look at our record set, you can see we've reassigned it to a different shape. It has not changed in the drawing. So what we're going to do is clear the records and relink them. We'll use the same setup as before, finish, and we can see that our president has now moved to the side. Hope this helps. This is Al Edlund.